On September 2nd, just prior to the release of the U.S. non-farm payroll data, U.S. two-year Treasury yields were trading at an almost 15-year high of 3.51%. After the data, they quickly dropped to a low of 3.38% before stabilizing around 34 Now, the market's reasoning seemed to be that the lower-than-expected wage growth and the higher-than-expected unemployment rate may reduce the Federal Reserve's aggressiveness in hiking short-term interest rates. The CME FedWatch tool moved to a recent low of pricing in an only 57% probability of a 75 basis point hike at the September 21st FOMC meeting, down from a 73% probability on August 29th. Now, after the market used the long weekend to further digest the data and its ramifications for Fed policy, two-year Treasury yields returned to 3.48% and a 75 basis point probability returned to 70%. Now eyes will be on the last CPI number prior to the Fed's September decision. The CPI is going to be on September 13th. There are some hopes that the recent bout of inflation may have peaked, as some commodity prices and global shipping rates seem to suggest. If a trader believes that two-year Treasury yields could continue higher, perhaps on a reassurance from the Fed that they will be unwavering in their fight against inflation, they could express that by buying the September micro two-year Treasury yield futures contract at 3.50 and targeting a move up to the psychological level of 4.00. A stop for this trade could be placed below at 3.15. This trade could make $500 if your target is reached and risks $350 if you're stopped out of your level. Now, if a trader believes that rates could soon head lower, perhaps on tamer inflation data, they could express that by selling the September micro two-year Treasury yield futures contract at 3.50 and targeting a move to late July lows of 2.90. A stop for this trade could be placed above at 3.80. This trade could make $600 if your target is reached and risks $300 if you're stopped out of your level.